Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang remainder and factor theorem. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang remainder and factor theorem. So, ano ba ang remainder and factor theorem? So, let's have this illustration first. So, sabi, when we have a polynomial, say, p of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 10x minus 7 is divided by x minus 3, the quotient is q of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 and the remainder, r, is equal to negative 4. Okay, so kapag dinivide daw natin itong p of x, na 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 10x minus 7 sa x minus 3. Yung sagot daw is itong q of x na 2x cubed minus 3x plus 1 at may remainder na negative 4. So, paano ba napalabas itong quotient na to at remainder na negative 4? So, pwede natin gamitin yung synthetic division, right? So, natuloy ko naman na sa inyo yon So, kung hindi pa yung napapanood, ay link ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, using synthetic division, isusulat natin yung numerical coefficient ng p of x. So, we have 2, negative 9, 10, and negative 7. And then, itong divisor natin na x minus 3, equate natin sa 0. Then, solve for x. So, therefore, transpose 3, x is equal to 3. Then, lagay natin yung number na 3 na to sa sulok. Okay? So, yung algorithm is, ibibring daw natin yung unong number na 2. And then, multiply natin tong 2 na binring down natin dun sa number 3. Anong sagot? 6. Ilaline up natin dito sa negative 9. Then, add natin tong negative 9 plus 6. We have negative 3. And then, same procedure. Itong sagot natin na negative 3, multiply natin sa 3 uli. We have so, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Then, ilaline up natin yung negative 9 this time sa 10. Then, add uli natin yung 10 plus negative 9. It is 1, right? Then, Multiply ulit natin sa sagot na 1 sa 3, we have 3. Nakaline up naman doon sa negative 7. Then add, we have negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. So therefore, itong dulong nakuha nating number, siya yung remainder, which is tama, right, na negative 4. And then itong 2, negative 3, 1, siya yung magiging numerical coefficient nung ating quotient. So diba tama, 2, negative 3, 1. So therefore, Q of X nga is 2. So, dahil x cubed ka, magsisimula ka sa quotient niya as x squared na babawasan mo ng isa. So, 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay? So, kaya ito yung nakuha nating sagot using synthetic division. So, pwede nating i-write itong expression natin for division as 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 10x minus 7 divided by x minus 3. So, urong ko to equals yung quotient natin diba yung 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 then plus yung remainder natin na negative 4 then dapat meron siyang same denominator na divisor natin na x minus 3 or pag minultiply natin both sides of the equation by x minus 3 cancel dito sa x minus 3 we have 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 10x minus 7 is equal to, distribute din dito si x minus 3, we have 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 times x minus 3. Then, pag dinistribute din natin dito sa negative 4 over x minus 3, cancel si x minus 3, we have minus 4. Okay? Or, in terms of our representation for the functions, we have p of x is equal to q of x times x minus 3 plus negative 4 or minus 4. Okay? So, in general, whenever a polynomial P of X is divided by X minus 3, we have P of X is equal to Q of X times X minus C plus R. So, tulad dito sa example natin, ito yung general na itsura ng representation natin kapag nag-divide tayo ng polynomial P of X sa binomial x minus c where c is any constant so same sa form na to ito yung pinaka general form so magkakaroon kayo ng p of x is equal to 
q of x yung quotient, i-multiply nyo dito sa divisor natin na binomial na x minus c, then i-add natin yung r. So, dito sa example natin, yung p of x is itong 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 10x minus 7. Yung q of x is itong 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And then itong x minus c is x minus 3 at yung r natin na remainder is negative 4. Okay? So, yun na nga. P of x is the dividend, x minus c is the divisor, q of x is the quotient, and r is the remainder. Now, sabi, if we let x be equal to c, so tulad ng ginawa natin kanina sa synthetic division, di ba? Yung x minus 3, inequate natin sa 0 or sinolve natin yung x na equal sa 3. So, therefore, kung sa binomial mo, we have x minus c. Pag sinolve mo yung x minus c equated to 0, ililet mo bali yung x na c. So, kapag nilet mo raw yung x na c at sinubstitute mo dito sa given expression natin for p of x, syempre papalitan mo lahat ng x ng c. So, ang kalalabasan is p of c is equal to q of c times c minus c plus r. Equal, so yung q of c times, so c minus c bali is magiging 0, right? And then, q of c times 0 is just 0. So therefore, ang matitira mo na lang is 0 plus r or simply r. So therefore, it is a theorem. It is called the remainder theorem. So ibig sabihin, kapag in-evaluate mo yung p of x doon sa solution ng x minus c equated to 0, which is in this case c, makukuha mo yung remainder ng expression. Okay, so same as the remainder when you divide p of x by x minus c, it is same as evaluating the same p of x or dividend by c. Okay? So as a summary, the remainder theorem is if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, the remainder is equal to p of c. Okay? So let's solve some examples to illustrate the remainder theorem. So for the first one, we have Find the remainder when p of x equals 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 5 is divided by x minus 2. Okay, so first step is equate natin itong x minus 2 sa 0. And then solve for x. x is equal to, transpose lang si 2, we have positive 2. So parang ito si C natin doon sa theorem, right? So ngayon, evaluate natin itong p of x dito sa value ng x na 2. So therefore p of 2 is equal to, substitute lahat natin sa x itong value na 2. So, 3 times 2 cubed minus 5 times 2 squared plus 7 times 2 plus 5. So, we have 3 times 2 cubed is 8 minus 5 times 2 squared is 4 plus 7 times 2 is 14 plus 5. 3 times 8 is 24 minus 5 times 4 is 20 plus 14 plus 5. So, therefore, we have 24 minus 20 plus 14 plus 5 or simply 23. So, therefore, the remainder when p of x, 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 5 is divided by x minus 2 is simply 23. Okay? Next, we have find the remainder when p of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus x minus 1 is divided by 2x plus 1. Okay, so equate uli natin itong 2x plus 1 sa 0, then solve for x. So we have 2x is equal to, transpose 1, magiging negative 1. Divide both sides by 2, we have x is equal to negative 1 half. So therefore, ito yung c natin. Evaluate natin yung p of x sa negative 1 half. Substitute natin yung negative 1 half sa lahat ng x dito sa p of x. So we have 3 times negative 1 half quantity cube plus... 2 times negative 1 half quantity squared plus negative 1 half minus 1. Simplify. So, 3 times negative 1 half quantity cube is negative 1 eighth plus 2 times negative 1 half quantity squared is 1 fourth. Then, plus negative 1 half or simply negative 1 half minus 1. So, we have 3 times negative 1 eighth is negative 3 over 8 plus 2 times 1 fourth or simply 1 half minus 1 half minus 1. So, ilan lahat to? So, maka-cancel to, right? So, magiging negative 3 eighths minus 1. So, LCD is 8. So, parang negative 3 minus 8, right? Equal. So, negative 3 minus 8 is negative 11 over 8. So, therefore, the remainder is simply negative 11 over 8. Okay? Next, now, suppose that if in P of X, 
equals q of x times x minus c plus r, p of c is equal to r is equal to 0, it means that x minus c divides the polynomial p of x exactly and x minus c is a factor of p of x. Okay, so kung dito sa equation natin na p of x is equal to q of x times x minus c plus r, kapag in-evaluate natin yung p of x dito sa c, or hinanap natin yung remainder at nakuha natin sa sagot is 0, therefore, tinidivide exactly nitong x minus c yung p of x. Or in other word, x minus c is a factor of p of x, right? Kasi sa isang number, right, kapag nag-divide kayo ng isang number sa another number at yung quotient ay eksakto and yung remainder mo is 0, then factor yung divisor na yun dun sa dividend. Okay? So, same lang din dito sa polynomial. So, therefore, whenever na you apply yung remainder theorem doon sa paghanap ng remainder ng P of X, when you divide it by X minus C at yung remainder is 0, X minus C is a factor of P of X. Okay? And it is called the factor theorem. So, sabi, a polynomial P of X has a factor X minus C if and only if P of C is equal to 0. So, pwede nating magamit yung theorem na to to determine kung factor ba ng polynomial P of X yung isang binomial, let's say X minus C. Okay? So, for example, we have determine if X minus 2 is a factor of X cubed minus 3X squared plus 7X minus 10. Okay, so, pwede natin yung factor theorem. Kapag in-evaluate natin itong given polynomial na to, let's say P of X, sa value ng X when itong X minus 2 is equated to 0, so therefore, ang value ng X natin is 2, right? So, pag in-evaluate natin itong P of X sa 2, so substitute natin, 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared plus 7 times 2 minus 10. So, 2 cubed is 8 minus 3 times 2 squared is 4 plus... 7 times 2 is 14 minus 10. We have 8 minus 3 times 4 is 12 plus 14 minus 10. So, we have 8 minus 12 plus 14 minus 10 is 0, right? So, therefore, dahil yung remainder natin is 0, x minus 2 is a factor nitong p of x na x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 10 by factor theorem, okay? Next, we have... Determine if x plus 3 is a factor of x to the 4th minus 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 5. Okay, so same lang din dun sa example 3. Let's say, itong p of x, itong polynomial nating x to the 4th minus 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 5. And then, unang step is, equate natin itong x plus 3 sa 0. Then, solve for x, we have transpose x is equal to negative 3. So, evaluate natin itong P of X sa nakuha natin X na negative 3. We have, substitute natin itong negative 3 sa lahat ng X. So, we have negative 3 quantity to the 4th minus 3 times negative 3 cubed plus 2 times negative 3 squared minus negative 3 plus 5. So, simplify natin. Negative 3 to the 4th is 81, right? Minus 3 times negative 3 to the 3rd is negative 27 plus 2 times negative 3 quantity squared is 9. So, negative times negative 3 is parang positive 3 na plus 5. So, we have 81 minus 3 times negative 27. So, positive 81 plus 2 times 9 is 18 plus 3 plus 5. So, simplify natin. 81 plus 81 plus 18 plus 3 plus 5. 188. So, obviously, dahil nung in-evaluate natin itong P of X sa negative 3, ang remainder is hindi 0, which is 188. Therefore, X plus 3 is not a factor of P of X. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, remainder and factor theorem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.